God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, prelate of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. And I am here today to talk to you about our upcoming sixth holy convocation. I am excited about what God is about to do. I feel like the national church, when they used to send out the advertisement saying the saints are coming, the saints are coming. Well, my friends, on August the 4th through the 6th, the saints of North Carolina 3rd and members of the body of Christ everywhere, whether they're going to be in person or online, is going to convene. They're going to meet me here at at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for our sixth Holy Convocation. The theme that the Lord has given me is a simple one, but for me, it says it all, pure religion. James said in James chapter number one, verse 26 and 27, if any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, that man's religion is vain. But pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. Three major points. James says that if you are religious, your religion should first and foremost control your actions. If a man seems to be devout, if a man seems to be religious, if a man is in a position where he carry out sacred duties and responsibilities, but he's not able, he's not able to handle himself and to uh, walk up right before God himself, James said that man's religion is vain. But he tells us what pure religion is. Pure religion is, it has a social comp comport to it. It says that we're to visit the orphans and the widows in their affliction. Yes, the church is in the world, but we're here to affect the world. We have a social responsibility to uh, affect laws, to feed those who are hungry, to do all that we can, to clothe the naked, to uh, speak to those who are down and out, those who are going through. We have a responsibility because we are in this world. So we are to visit the fatherless and the widows in their afflictions. And lastly, in doing all of this work, we're to keep ourselves unspotted from the world. Satan wants to come in and contaminate the church. In many ways, he wants to bring in methods that will compromise our stand for Jesus, even as we try to be socially relevant. I don't think that we should do anything at the expense of our uh, God-given biblical position and nothing at the expense of our loyalty to Jesus Christ. So this is what our great uh, Sixth Holy Convocation is going to be about, and we have some awesome, awesome guests who are coming. I'm excited about our lineup. On Wednesday night, we have a tremendous speaker. Perhaps you've heard of him. Wednesday night will be a history-making night because on Wednesday night, a born-again brother who is a personal friend of mine, he loves Jesus Christ. And I tell you, uh, I said to someone, he's saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. He loves God. And he happens to be the history making lieutenant governor of the state of North Carolina. We have never in the entire history of this state had an African-American as lieutenant governor. And now we have one lieutenant governor, Mark Robinson. He loves Jesus. He preaches all over. And I'm excited that he's coming to minister here on Wednesday night, August the 4th in our holy convocation. We also have another great man of God who has played a tremendous role in history, who is going to be here, Brother Clarence Henderson. He was a part of uh, the, the sit-ins in Greensboro. He loves Jesus Christ, and he is going to be here Wednesday night, and he is going to speak also. He's a history-making man. He's a God-fearing man. He too loves Jesus Christ, and he loves uh, this country and our people. And he's coming to be a part of that great service. And it's going to be amazing. 
pure religion and undefiled before God is indeed to visit the fatherless and the widows in their afflictions and yet to keep ourselves unspotted from the world and to walk in a relationship with Jesus Christ that controls our behavior. Even during the day sessions on Wednesday morning, the service actually starts Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. on August the 4th. We are going to begin with prayer led by the chairman of our elders council and he is our prayer leader that is superintendent William H. Cooper the second meet me here Wednesday morning at 9 30 a.m. and we're going to pray and we're going to have an awesome awesome day session and after the prayer sister Tiffany Blakely of Concerned Women for America will be here to do a presentation we are uh, concerned about the contamination of the world coming into the church and she's going to bless us real good our Wednesday speaker will be uh, Superintendent James Farrington. He is going to minister the word of God here. He is uh, one of my administrative assistants and a superintendent in North Carolina third. And we're going to be blessed by that mighty man of God. And of course, we're coming back for the Wednesday evening service. There's going to be a special call, a special gathering where I will meet with the leaders of NC Third at 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday. And from that uh, meeting, we will go into the Wednesday night service. Yes, we only have three days. We only have three days, the fourth through the sixth, but it's going to be filled with good stuff. So I want you to make your reservations, make your plans, shift your schedule and get ready to be here from the start to the finish. It's going to be great. Now on uh, Thursday, Our Thursday sessions all day long, Thursday is Women's Day. And I thank the Lord for our wonderful supervisor, Supervisor Beverly Dijonet. She has a tremendous uh, lineup ready for Thursday. Among those, one of our very own, Evangelist Keisha White of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ is going to be the speaker for the Thursday uh, service during the day. And listen, she's anointed and she's going to deliver the word of the Lord. And on Thursday night, we're going to come back and honor, but first we're going to hear from the word of the Lord from our very own supervisor, Supervisor Beverly Dijonet. And also simultaneously with Thursday being Women's Day, we're going to have our men's session. Our men's director, the elder Anthony Wilson is in charge and it is going to be an awesome time. Now on Friday, August the 6th, on the, during our day sessions, and remember our prayer starts at 930, but during the day session, we're going to have a very, very, very important teaching that is near and dear to my heart. I believe that pastors should be supported. I believe that if there are any uh, first responders, frontline people, people who need to have the support of their congregants. I believe that it is the the pastors who are standing on God's word. And we're going to have a seminar here uh, dealing with pastors support. I am a big believer that it is necessary to pray for the pastor, to stand by your leader and to support the pastor. We're having a seminar on pastoral support. Superintendent William H. Cooper II will be teaching this uh, particular seminar. Uh, he is a the author of God's the book God's Last Day Armor Bearer. He will do a he's going to do a tremendous job pointing congregants to their pastor. Let them know the hard work that pastors put in. I know that it's, it's popular now to tell, a, tell a, a, a money joke about a preacher or to try to kick the minister around. But let me tell you something. If God has blessed you with a great pastor and a great leader, you should, number one, thank God for it. And number two, do all that you can to support your leader. During our our day sessions on the 6th, our speaker will be the Superintendent Wilbur 
Nichols and Superintendent Nichols is going to give us the word of the Lord on that day on Friday during our day sessions and God is going to use that man of God and we're going to be blessed by the Lord during that day session and we will come back uh, on seven o'clock on Friday evening and we're going to have the ordination service and several young men who are deserving, who have served in their local churches, who have been recommended by their pastors, who have been active in their churches, will be ordained on that night. And we're excited about God adding ordained elders to the ministry. And to close out, we will go directly into our official night service. Uh, the superintendent, Ronald Gates, will be the early speaker. And I thank God for that man of God. And the Lord is going to use him in a mighty way. Then yours truly will deliver the message, the official message on Friday night. So it's going to be a, a move of God. The saints are coming. I want you to be here. I want you, you, and especially you to make reservations, come, do what you need to do, clear your schedule, and meet me here for three days of intense training, preaching, teaching, and prayer. And we will see you here on August the 4th through the 6th for our sixth annual Holy Convocation at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, headquarters for North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, where we are going to walk in pure religion and we're going to serve the God of the Bible. I will see you here.